I'm Dala and today I'm going to give you an update on what I've been doing on my summer vacation. So let's get started with all the various projects. First of all, uh, most of you are probably wondering what's going on with CCS for the leaf. And uh, yeah, I'm wondering too. Uh, it's my biggest project uh, at the moment, but um, it hasn't really been progressing much and um, that's due to the fact that I kind of need my leaf every day. It's in use and um, getting driven hundreds of kilometers per day and I can't really afford the downtime at the moment to have it stripped to pieces. I sold my other leaf and uh, so I only have one car at the moment and that's the black leaf. And uh, yeah, that brings me to the next point also. Like um, lots of people now are using the CCS, uh, the LIM from the BMW i3 on their projects and they're doing so successfully. So we now know that uh, also the voltage sensing board that was made by Lars Rengersen, that's also working very nicely. So. That's super that the hardware is getting some maturity also on this. But um, I don't have that experience with the limb and I really want the experience, like knowing how it works before I try to like tack it onto the leaf, which is way more complicated than just adding it onto like a converted car. But luckily I have another car and um, that's the EVMX. It's not really road legal yet, but it has a leaf battery and it has the leaf like charger, PDM, inverter, motor. So it's almost a leaf. And um, this got me thinking that it would be best for me to kind of learn the limb more uh, on maybe on the EVNX. So that's kind of where I'm at now that I might want to add CCS to this project car learn more about how it works, uh, what all the quirks are, just test it out properly before adding it to the leaf. But now I have another dilemma, I have so many projects. We have, uh, uh, well, the CCS project, um, EVNX, I have this uh, pile of batteries here that is destined to become a power wall. I started a video on that but I haven't yet put out any videos on it. Uh, we have another solar install that I need to make a video on. I have lots of like tiny projects uh, like uh, making a foundation for the fast charger. That's not really super important to like watch us build something like it's like just basic construction. But I shot some video material on, on this. I don't know if it's gonna ever make it as a video. Maybe I'll put up some footage here in like fast forward how it went when we uh, constructed it. But yeah, stuff like that. We have a, a roof renovation ongoing uh, here in the workshop. And uh, yeah, the BYD, like battery pack reverse engineering, um, that's also semi-progressing. Uh, then we have other projects such as the, like fixing more bugs on the battery upgraded cars. I recently put out a GitHub update on the ENV200. Uh, that one is like complete now. It doesn't throw any fault codes at all. Like I would consider that one to be 100% perfect. So I will leave the ENV 200 uh, alone for now. But I've also focused on the leaf battery upgrades. I've fixed some bugs, um, pushed out this update to a few customers. It looks good. So it will be put out to more customers. Uh, what else? Uh, then there's the Canbridge um, shortage situation. I have like almost 100 people waiting for <laughs> Canbridges. Uh, and there's no like um, hardware in sight. So yeah, that's fun. Uh, still waiting on those X Mega CPUs to arrive from somewhere. We might have to start porting the codes for battery upgrades, inverter upgrades and CCS upgrades to some other hardware than the three port Cambridges because they're so hard to get a hold of at the moment. So for those of you waiting, mm, either hang in there or uh, try to look for some uh, alternative manufacturers. Like there are a lot of people supplying hardware for battery upgrades and yeah, inverter upgrades, etc. So you can do that. I also try to keep my all my stuff like open source. So in case 
you can't get the hardware, you can at least get the software and you can port it to, to your own uh, hardware. So, uh, other than that, uh, maybe a business update, like how's my business going? Uh, it's not going so well <laughs> at the moment. I'm actually terrible at running this business, uh, but uh, haven't since we don't have any CAN hardware, I'm not really sending any invoices to people. Um, so yeah, luckily I have Patreon supporters. I mean, if if it weren't for the Patreon supporters, uh, my business would be bankrupt by now. But it's still going, and uh, we're still making projects uh, progress on uh, like various uh, research and development stuff. So. I would really like to thank all of you on Patreon <laughs> for supporting my shenanigans. Uh, there's probably a lot more projects uh, going on uh, that I, I just can't think about at the moment because yeah, there's so much going on here. But I would really like to start finishing something. So during my summer vacation, I uh, took a road trip to Sweden, uh, 800 kilometers uh, in the leaf. So that was uh, fun. Um, we got stuck at one place but luckily the Swedes are really helpful so uh, I was rescued from a charger that was offline by some uh, local kind person that had an RFID tag so thank you again. Uh, but I made it back and uh, I started working on the EVNX a bit. Uh, I have, haven't really filmed anything because I'm just doing like the super boring stuff like making it uh, road legal and possible to go in for a Katsastus, a Motos Katsastus, like a change, change uh, MOT to change it to electric. Stuff like fixing the brakes, making them uh, mm, like automatic with the vac vacuum pump, uh, made a like battery box uh, to protect the battery, that's like a requirement you shouldn't be able to touch electrical bits, that would be dangerous. And also currently uh, I have a hood just thrown on it, we need to make a scoop so we can get the hood to close. Uh, fixing these boring stuffs uh, like um, headlights and everything to work. Because I made a really stupid decision in the start with the uh, EVNX. Uh, if you check the first video I just cut the main like harness and I have deleted all like wire harnesses from this car so stuff like blinkers and headlights and stuff like this doesn't really work at the moment so I'm adding all those back. But I'm making progress and uh, I think I will just keep at it with these boring tasks and uh, then when it's um, done and we can actually um, maybe drive it I will make an update video on it. But that's about it. I think um, this sorry this was a really long video uh, as a yeah I hope um, that <laughs> you enjoyed uh, watching it, at least to get a status update on all the various projects that's uh, happening. And uh, yeah, thank you Patreon supporters especially. Dull out. <laughs>